This isn't a painting. I'm not a painter, I'm a sculptor. So a few years ago, I started uh, working with uh, rubber tree sap. And that's what this is. This is vulcanized latex. Uh, it's harvested in Burma the same way as maple syrup. It's harvested in Canada. Uh, so it's rubber tree sap. I was working with um, boat forms, the skeletons of boat forms. Um, I was trying to work my way back in Canadian history to the earliest transportation forms, the Inuit kayaks and that kind of thing. So I was dealing with the ribbing structures, but I wasn't dealing with the surfaces. A couple of years ago, I started working with um, latex out by uh, my studio in the shield. And so I was putting it on rock faces, and I was putting it on old wooden boats, uh, and I was putting it on trees. Uh, I have a short, dis uh, I have a little collage. Uh, the work I do comes out of performance, okay? So uh, I'm actually a sculptor and partly a performance article, and the work I do comes out of performance. So this is simply a sketch uh, of what it would look like to have a series of these pieces coming off the trees in an old growth pine forest or something like that. Um, and if you're familiar with the work of Crystal and John Claude, where they wrap things and they do installations like the Gates of Central Park, or if you've gone down to the AGO and you've seen the Italian artists there and the tree covered with um, uh, wet leather, um, with all the little nails, the work is strongly connected to those kinds of artists. There are others as well. This is, um, I wanted to contextualize it. This is Eva Hess's work in the 70s. She was a feminist artist. She worked with latex and fabric, and she was making dresses, and she was hanging them as tapestries. Um, she was exploring different uh, feminist issues in her work. So it creates a fabric. So it's textile-based. Um, and the gauze comes out of it as if there were a dress coming out of a skin. I call these works skins. And on either side are um, two old barn boards imprinted in the latex. So it combines painting, printmaking, sculpture, and performance in a way. And the barn boards are from an abandoned house near my studio where two older women uh, lived alone and, and died there. Um, it's about two and a half hours from here. And the tree I worked with is uh, from a cottage I was working on near Cajun. So somebody told me these things are kind of like uh, working with the skin of Gaia, the surface of the earth, um, and they're images of the earth warming up to me. So in this case, this might be an image of uh, um, the pine trees in British Columbia and the forest fires. It might be an image of the foam system, the vascular system of a tree that the sap moves through. Um, but at the same time, it has female elements embedded in it. That's, that's where I start.